this is Jordan Banning from California Surveying and Drafting Supply. Uh, today we are going to geo-reference a point cloud in Trimble RealWorks 9.0. This process would be the same for anything 8.0, actually probably all the way back to 7.2 as far as geo-referencing hasn't changed much. So it's a building, Midtown Sacramento, and we're going to put it onto some uh, assumed coordinate system here. Uh, you can see right here, if I just go for top orientation, this is Project North, probably True North. I'm not 100% sure. This could just be read from the uh, compass on the scanner to the internal compass. So anyway, what we're going to do is bring in a control file. And I'll show you where we're at. I like to use this measure point tool a lot. You can just click the sidewalk anywhere. And you can kind of see what the coordinate system looks like. Just some surveyors assume coordinate system. We're going to put it onto like a project coordinate system. And we're going to import a survey file just by clicking open here. I have surveying network ASCII file already selected. Select your control file. Hit open. A little import screen comes up. Make sure that your file format is correct. I know that we're in XYZ coordinates here. NEZ, Northeast Elevation very popular actually this is probably where we work uh, backwards from what we normally get coordinates in no big deal and they're in US survey feet we just click OK and you'll see them here somewhere out here in space there they are so there's my control points around the building if you want to zoom in you can hit X to center on point one thing they added to RealWorks 9.0 is this center rotation by cursor position. So I could just click anywhere. I'm not used to it yet, so I turn it off, but it is a really cool tool. So I'm going to open up my, I'm going to click on my project first, then I'm going to open up my geo referencing tool. And what we're going to do is just designate targets and control points. So the first one is right down here on this bipod. I'll click it. And then by target, I'll select the topo point, which is C22. They match the targets in this case because I took the time to match them. So that's our first one. You can see there's zero error on that because it's just one point. I'll come down here to the north side of the building for our second control point. Click on it. It's sphere 14, which is also going to be topo point 14 or C14 in this case. Click OK. And now it's starting to build some error for us. So minimal error between those two but as I start adding them in they'll definitely go up I'll uh, click this guy here by target this is target 16 so we want control 16 we'll hit OK error got much higher there just under five thousandths still, still pretty good and then our last control point is over here on the other side of the building bipod we do have some checkerboard targets up we'll click on this one target C10 I'll hit OK and my overall average error is uh, just under nine thousandths what I can do is look at these and see which one has the highest error 16 actually does have a lot of error in it and uh, I knew that. But what I can do is uncheck 16 and you'll see the average error probably get a lot better. There we go. So now we're down to up to a thousandth or well, just to, if you want to round up to two thousandths, you can. I would just hold those three. You can uncheck each of them to see how far down your air gets looks like not using 16 will be our best bet here so we're just holding holding these three so I'll hit apply this will take a second so that took probably about a minute maybe 45 seconds somewhere around there they had to basically go through and modify all the coordinates in every station and save it close out my geo referencing tool now if I look at this data from the top down 
you can see we're on a nice crisp XYZ and we're probably very close to zero. Somewhere around here, around the origin. The origin set right in this area. So you can see how the uh, project has been uh, modified and we modified the, the main project coordinates or the home frame. Uh, Trimble Realworks does have a frame creation tool where you can make as many coordinate systems as you would like with various origins uh, for export or for use in modeling, things like that. My next video will go over that frame creation tool and how we can use it to set origins uh, in a building or structure um, like this. Thanks for watching. Please get in touch if you have any questions.